This video will give you an overview of how to use the MapMaker to fully customize your office on Gather. The MapMaker is our advanced customization tool for users with the role of admin or MapMaker. To get started, click the Customize button in the bottom navigation bar, and then click Open MapMaker up at the top. The MapMaker will open in a new browser window. Only one person can use it at a time, so be sure to communicate with your team before editing the map. Here's the grid that makes up your office. If you have additional rooms or floors, you'll find them listed in the lower right. There are three main components to the map. The background, the objects, and tile effects. The background is the image that everything sits on top of, like the walls and the floors. The objects are the individual items like tables and chairs. They can be interactive, like documents that include a link to a file, or decorative, like a fishbowl. Select an object and click on the map to place it. It will automatically snap to the grid, or you can override this by holding the control or command key. To change the color or orientation of an object, click on it and adjust the settings. To remove something, select the eraser and click on the item you want to delete. To select multiple objects, use the box tool to click and drag. This will show you a list of all the objects within that area, making it easy to select a specific one or giving you the option to copy all of them, like if you need another desk pod. The box tool will also select the tile effects, the third component to an office. These add effects to the tiles beneath objects. For example, impassable tiles block you from walking on that tile, so they're common on desks or walls, or private area tiles, which create private meeting rooms. Tiles are similar to objects in that you click to place them and use the eraser to remove them. Just make sure to select the type of tile you want to remove first. This prevents you from erasing the wrong type if they're stacked on top of each other. There's a lot more you can do to customize your office, such as adding extensions, building new rooms or floors, and even uploading custom backgrounds. But for now, customizing your objects and tile effects are a great place to start to make your office feel like your own. When you're all done making changes, don't forget to save. Then go back to your space and enjoy your updated office.